Ladies and gentlemen, there is this video which I watched and really laughed. Fellow Kenyans, Steve Mbogo Apa. Now today I want to make a pledge and I'm very serious about it. Today in this holy month of Ramadan, I pledge that if Raila Molo Odinga gets the AU Commission seat, I will give him 10 million shillings. I repeat, I pledge that if Raila Molo Odinga gets that, clinches that seat, I will give him 10 million shillings. I know it's small money to him, but not to many Kenyans. I'm saying that because I am very sure, 100% sure, that Raila Odinga will not clinch that seat. I don't want to talk about that video right now, but I'm coming to it in my next episode. Because what I know for sure is that Raila Odinga is going to become the next chair of the African Union Commission unless something terrible is going to happen between now and February next year. Muslim Davadi's office just released a statement. Let me just read for you this statement because I'm coming to it later. Africa Union Executive Council assert the right of Eastern Africa region to produce the next chairperson of the African Union Commission. Basically, the African Union has cleared the way for Raila Amolo Odinga. And therefore, the only way Raila Odinga can fail to clinch this seat is if other issues were to emerge. But I don't think any other issue is going to emerge because normally these appointments are negotiated. For now, let us wait for that analysis. I want to focus on a meeting that took place yesterday between Babu Owino and Wiper Party leader Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka because in my view that meeting is significant politically speaking and for those who've been following this channel religiously I've been consistent on offering my advice and solicited advice to Azimio la Moja One Kenya Alliance to Raila Moludinga and to Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka in particular and you remember that number one I advised Azimio la Moja One Kenya Alliance to name their presidential candidate early enough. In fact, the only sure way Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance can win the presidency is for them to name their candidate early enough. If they won't do that, I can assure you, they won't win the presidency. They need time to campaign for that candidate. They need time to craft a winning uh, formula. They need time to come up with a proper communication strategy. If that candidate will be Kalonzo, they need. For me, I'm watching for Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka and I've made that public. You might watch for some other individual. Number two, I've always advised them to craft a winning formation, which means each of the Azimio leader must be willing to sacrifice their personal ambitions. If they won't be willing, they should forget. For example, there will be no need for Kalonzo Musyoka to run, for uh, Joho to run for the presidency, for Karua to run for the presidency, for Wamalwa to run for the presidency. And of course, running mate can only be one, which means it has to be a lot of sacrifice. I've also told them that they must invest in serious communications strategy. Right now, if you are in the Republic of Kenya, you should have noted that William Ruto is regaining that lost trust. Kenyans had started rebelling against William Ruto. But today, I, I, maybe it's because Raila Ding is going to the African Union and therefore he cannot speak. But I think William Ruto is getting his communications right. And I've also told them that, this is specifically to Kalonzo Musyoka, that for him, he must have a running mate. And that running mate must be either Babu Owino or Edwin Sifuna. And I did a comprehensive analysis recently about that. So yesterday, Babu Wino met with Kalonzo Musyoka. And I thought, why not talk about it? This is what Babu Wino posted after that meeting. Let me just get it. Just a minute. This is what Babu Wino posted. Held a successful meeting with His Excellency, Kalonzo Musyoka. And I want to guess or assume this is Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's center. Their headquarter. Which is significant. I'm not sure whether Kalonzo Musyoka updated this meeting. Let me just check Kalonzo Musyoka. Kalonzo Musyoka's Facebook page if he updated this meeting. Uh -huh. Kalonzo Musyoka did not update this meeting. 
I don't know why. But Baba Wino updated. So why do you think Kalonzo Musyoka met with Baba Wino? And why do you think it is significant? That's exactly what I want us to analyze in this video. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, allow me to dive in. Why do you think Alonzo and Baba Wino met? Baba Wino mwenyewe. Mujumbe Mbakazi East. Aha. Uno ODM. Wale wakamba wote wako Mbakazi East. Wameona Kalonzo na kijana yangu. Na hata hapa mbele. After hapa mbele tukishapatia mzee wetu Kalonzo. Sinaonia hata sisi tunapeana jamani. Amen. Kisha malizana na kalonzo yeye pia chukue yake. Sieta kijana pia natosha hapa mbele. Wakati tutatafuta viti hapa mbele. Sie pia takuwa na shikilia huku jamani. Sia kuhuko chuu kabisa. Sawa kabisa. Because I can clearly see that Babu Oweno is already going outside there. Anajituma. The other day Babu Oweno announced to the country that he had planned some meeting with Joho. That meeting took place. Again, we are seeing Babu Owino going to Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's center for a meeting. Today, I've just checked Babu Owino's Facebook page, which I've just read there, and I've noted something. He was in Muranga. Babu Owino was in Muranga, and before that, he also held some uh, meetings, I think, with uh, some youth in Homabe. So, which means Babu Owino anajituma. So this meeting between Babu Wino and uh, Kalonzo Musyoka was intended, in my view, to achieve several objectives. Number one, strategic political alliances. Now, I want to offer again my unsolicited advice to Kalonzo Musyoka. Take Babu Wino seriously. That man enjoys support of Kenyans. And of course, as much as Babu Wino might need Kalonzo Musyoka, I think Alonzo Musyoka also needs Babu Owino. But the fact that Babu Owino left his office in Nairobi and went to Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's office, it means Babu Owino is ahead of the game. He's looking at strategic political alliances. Babu Owino wants to become the governor for Nairobi. The truth is, there is no way Babu Owino can become the governor of Nairobi without <clears throat> the support of Kalonzo Musyoka. Kalonzo has the Kamba votes on his pocket. So he needs the support of the Kamba. And of course, Kalonzo Musyoka is the Azimio leader. It's just in order for Babu Wino to go to Kalonzo Musyoka just to talk to the to the leader in, in his own right. So for me, it's about strategic alliances. Number two, I can also interpret it to mean that it is a kind of Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka's charm offense mission on Raila Odinga's key allies. The other day, you saw Kalonzo Musyoka with Edwin Sefuna touring Nairobi. That was a significant step for Kalonzo Musyoka. Today, I've also seen Kalonzo Musyoka in uh, some meeting in Nairobi. Let me just see. Some meeting in Nairobi. Nairobi Business Community Prayer and Thanksgiving. Which is also a good, a good step. But the truth is, if Kalonzo Musyoka wants to win the presidency, there is really a Odinga factor. He can't run away from that, and I'm going to explain that shortly. So maybe Kalonzo Musyoka is reaching out to some of these guys. He reached out to Sifuna, they toured uh, Nairobi. He's reaching out to Babu Owino. I won't be surprised to see Kalonzo Musyoka and Babu Owino sharing a podium somewhere else. And number three, number three is what I call Babu Owino factor. In Kalonzo Musyoka's campaign. <laughs> and for those who follow this channel, you'll agree that I offered some unsolicited advice to Kalonzo and I advised him that for him to succeed, he must reach out to some of these ODM youthful leaders. Joho, Arati, Sefona, Babu, Kaleba Misi, Mishimboko. You know, those are the people who can charge crowd for him. Those are the people 
who resonates, whose brand of politics resonates so well with majority of ODM supporters. But Babu Owino is unique in his own right. You go to a place with Babu Owino, the crowd will always demand for him to speak. And it has happened severely. So that's someone that Kalozo Musioka, in my view, needs on his camp. And probably the invitation to visit or to meet him probably is as a result of that understanding that there is Babu Wino factor. So that Kalozo Musioka wants to start campaigning. What role will Babu Wino play? Just the other day, I was trying to tell you that one of the biggest challenges Kalozo Musioka is facing or could be facing is lack of finance. Because if Kalonzo were to go to, Maku, to Kisi to, tomorrow and he wants to have the face of Kenya, of course the Kamba leaders will find their way there. But someone like Babu Wino, someone like Mishimboko, they can tell Kalonzo, okay, as we are willing to join you, work a chopper. Chopper is very expensive. People like Ledamo Lekina, they just require, you, you, Kalonzo needs them for that national image. So they'll be willing. But Kalozo must put money somewhere. So the truth is probably this is these are some of the issues they discussed. Number four is Nairobi. I was talking to someone and he told me that Babu Wino can easily win Nairobi. But remember, Nairobi is not just one like that. Nairobi is normally negotiated as part of national agenda. For example, in the last election, Timo Nyonyi would have been the governor for Nairobi. But you see, Jubilee was offering Rel Ringa support, of which they gave him 1.4 million votes. So Rel needed their support. So for them, they also needed Nairobi. So in exchange, Tim Onyonyi was forced to defer his ambition. But in 2027, Rel might not be campaigning for these guys if you want to be on the ballot, because I also want to assume that Rel Ringa can go outside there three years, then make a comeback to Kenyan politics. What will you do? Nothing can stop him from doing that. But Mubo Wino wants to run. Probably this is what they discussed with the Kalonzo Mosoka. And of course, lastly, is Raila Odinga factor post-African Union. <laughs> Let me ask you, do you think Raila Odinga is going to retire from politics, Kenya, or is going to stop participating in Kenyan politics? I do think so. And I tend to agree with what Moses Korea stated the other day that Baba will be back. But for me, after three years, he will come. His supporters will organize for him a very huge Baba when you're away and probably campaign for the president. If that will not happen, then it means Kalonzo Musioka must figure out how he's going to deal with post Reilo Dinga, assuming he goes to the AU. Because immediately Raila Odinga is elected the chair of the AU in February, he won't be participating much in local politics. What next for Kalonzo? That is the biggest question. And probably that is what he's trying to do. I don't know what you think. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.